and welcome back to Broadsword Wargaming. In today's video, we have Battle of the Contrast Express Speed Dips. They can't sue me if I say all the names at once, right? Perfect. Time is something none of us ever seem to have enough of. And with the invent of speed paints, contrast paints, express paints, and techniques such as slap chop really taking the painting world by storm, how do you know which paints are best for you? In this video, we are going to be testing all of the speed contrast type paints that we could get our hands on. So we have Games Workshop, contrast paints, Vallejo Express colors, we have Army Painter speed paints, and we have Green Stuff World Dipping Inks. So I'm going to be testing all the colors that we have at the moment and see how they all compare and which ones I prefer and which ones are for the bin. We have assembled a whole host of different types of miniatures. Each of these has been sprayed with a Mechanica standard grey spray coat and then a white scar spray from a zenithal angle. This should help keep the whole comparison equal, fair and even. We've also done our best to make sure miniatures representing skin have nice and interesting skin variants and anything to do with armour is going on an armoured miniature. We're going to try and keep a completely unbiased view here, so with that, let's see what Kira thinks. All right, let's jump straight in with flesh tones. First up, Gilliman Flesh. So I'm applying a very quick, light, even coat of this to see how it settles. And it's nice. It's thin. It does the job. I like it. Then we've got Express Color Dwarf Skin. This was uh, similar to the first one, a little bit thicker and a slightly different tone, but it holds up. They're, they're very similar. Crusader Skin by Army Painter Speed Paint. This was thicker again and had a different tone again. I didn't quite like this one as much when I was applying it, but when it dries, it's it's very similar to the other two. I was excited for this Nude Skin Dip by uh, Green Stuff World, but it's 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 weird. Really weird. Um I I don't like it. No. It's it's a no from me. As you can see, the first three are very similar finish with slightly different uh tones to them, and then we've got the fourth one coming in here with an identity crisis. What is that? I don't know. And with four models done, it's time for a quick phone and wine break. From the bottle, Kira. From the bottle. Well, let's get back to it. Next up is Purples, an oldie but a goodie. Shyish Purple by GW. Really nice, plummy kind of colour. Really, really opaque. Gives good coverage, easy to work with. Then we've got Express Colours Purple. This one, as you can see, has a lot more of a contrast effect because it's not as opaque. It is really smooth, really easy to work with. I think this was my favorite one. Hive Dweller Purple by Army Painter. This is very similar to the Shyish Purple but more sort of a blackberry color. Really, really good uh, pigment to it. Good coverage. Slightly less of a contrast effect because it's so rich. And then Garnet Purple by Dipping Inks. This is really, really vibrant really smooth. Uh, it does have a tendency to pool a lot more than the other ones, but it does give a really good contrast effect and gives a nice smooth coat on the armor, which is hard to do with a contrast paint. As you can see, two of these very similar, very rich, very deep. And then the other two are slightly less pigmented and gives more of that sort of contrast effect. I think the Vallejo wins this one for me. Okay, so the more I use dropper bottles, the more I realize that people are right. <laughs> and I hate the Games Workshop pots but also they're better than making your own at home dropper pots because that sucks. Okay, let's check out the blues, starting with Games Workshop Asherman Blue, Asherman Blue, I don't know. This again goes on really easy, thin, smooth. I mean, you get what you get with Games Workshop, you always know it's gonna be good. Then we've got Vallejo Express Color. This one's a little bit lighter than the other one, not as easy to work with, but gives a really, really good, nice, smooth, even coverage. Nicely pigmented, can't really say anything wrong about it. Speed paint blue. How's that gonna how's that gonna work? Oh look, look, why is it patchy? Why is it patchy? It goes on patchy, but you know what? It doesn't dry patchy. How did they get this much pigment in one paint? I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Then we've got Azure Dip by Green Stuff World Dipping Inks. This one, it was very different to the other ones, but again, the gel consistency makes it go on weird, but it just makes it so smooth. It's so smooth. How do they do that? In the end, for me, though, the speed paint takes it because they just give that nice dark recess that gives contrast paint. It's contrast. Next up is reds, which I'm super excited for. We've got Bal Red contrast paint and we're testing it out on this. Look at this cute little guy. Look at it. 
that's pretty cute. This is a nice even coverage, not a whole lot of contrast going on because it is so pigmented, but it gives a really nice solid red. Then we've got Express Color Red by Vallejo, and this is very similar, slightly different shade, but again, not a whole lot of contrast. So what is the point? I'm just kidding. It's actually really nice and solid. It's just not getting a whole lot of contrast. Then we've got Blood Red by Speed Paint, and this stuff is amazing. Look at it. It's like bottled blood. How did they do it? I don't want to know. I don't want to know how they did it. Just keep doing it. Buy this. This is amazing. Red Opulence Dipping Ink by Green Stuff World. Wah, wah, wah. Did I say that already? I don't know. But this is just watery disappointment bottle. Enough said. As you can see, the first two, really nice uh, reds, nice even coverage, but not a whole lot of contrast. Then the blood red is just killing it and just it looks amazing. And then there's a, a whole lot of mess. Just I don't even want to talk about it. Sorry, green stuff world, but that's not good. All right, yellows. Everyone says yellow is hard to paint, so let's see if we can make it easier. We've got Imperial Fist Contrast Paint, which is an insane color. This has great coverage. It's a really nice color. It doesn't have a whole lot of uh, contrast, but I just think everyone should own this paint. It's so nice. Express color. I feel like this is very similar to the Games Workshop one. Slightly more transparent, but just equally as nice. Zealot Yellow. This color is so weird. It's like an egg yolk. It's I I I love it. <laughs> it gives the most contrast out of all the yellows, but it's weird contrast. Like it's an orange. It's I just I think it's really cool. You'll have to make up your own mind though. Yellow submarine dip. This stuff you can see from space. This is like a rubber duck yellow. I think it would be really really nice over some sort of pink zenithal undercoat. It is nice. It's very different to the others though. The first two are looking very similar. The Speed Painter one is so different. I think this is going to be a Marmite situation. Love it or hate it. I love it. Next up, we're comparing Orc Flesh colors, starting with Games Workshop Orc Flesh Contrast Paint. This goes on really nicely, dries really nicely. The color is more sort of 40k orcs than anything else. It's really popular for a reason. Express Color Orc Skin. This is more what I think Orc Skin should be. It's yellow toned. Really nice and bright. Um, could possibly suit Age of Sigmar or Lord of the Rings orcs more. I would like it. Sorry, Speed Paints. This one just did not do it for me. I felt like this one was hard to apply. I felt like it was goopy. And of all the colors, this is giving me Hulk, not Orc. Green Stuff World Dipping Ink Orc Flesh. This, uh, just look, look, look at it. It's so different to the other ones. I thought it was going to be so dark and there'd be nothing to it. But man, when this stuff dries, I'll show you in a second. This this stuff is gold. My favorite color of all of them is probably the Express color, the nice bright green. But look at that dipping ink there at the end. There is so much contrast considering it's such a dark color and it dries so smooth. It's so nice. Okay, let's check out some browns, starting with Sigor Brown, which is one of my favorite contrast paint colors. This is, I use it all the time. It's really, really nice. Look, I'm making a dark chocolate storm cast. Then we've got the express color version, which is a little bit lighter. This is the milk chocolate. If the other one was the dark chocolate and this does the same thing. Nice, even coverage, nice bit of contrast. I, I like it. It's good. Hardened leather speed paint. I was not impressed when I started putting this on the model. I was like, this is a bit goopy or something. I don't know. But once it started to dry, I was I was quite impressed. This actually does look like leather and I'm going to be using this for all my leather belts and stuff in the future. Elfwood Brown, I had high hopes for, but it is really transparent and made this look like ghost wood, like invisible. I'm a spooky ghost, but I'm a tree vibes, which I couldn't deal with. Ooh, chocolate stormcast anyone? I really like those first. Actually, to be fair, all of these are great apart from the Green Stuff World one. It's always difficult to compare different companies, different paints, because everyone is always so different. Ultimately, this video is nothing but our subjective opinions. It's very difficult to remain objective because we only like what we like, and I'm sure some of you out there love the paints we didn't like and hate the ones we did. But the idea was to show you what some of these different companies and brands are doing. I think all of them have a place somewhere in your painting arsenal. And if you can find a use for them to help speed up your painting or improve your painting, then they have a worth and value to you. Right, let's get back to Kira for her roundup. In summary, 
I have no idea, <laughs> help me. <laughs> no, I really wanted to come into this with an absolute definitive answer of these are the best performing speedy contrast paints out there, you should buy this brand. Um, but it's it's just not the case. Some brands are stronger in some colors and some brands are stronger in other colors, which is really annoying. Um, weirdly, I think Citadel are my favorite. They have the biggest range, but looking at all these, I don't think the Citadel paints have my favorite color in any of these, which is weird, but they are the most consistent. Some of my favorites are the Speed Paint Red, the Speed Paint Brown, Green Stuff World Green, Speed Paint Blue. Do you know what I mean? And yet I'm gravitating towards Citadel because they didn't have any really terrible ones. So um, hopefully that helps a little bit and you can go back and look at all the swatches and pick the ones that work for you. This is just my opinion. And every brand has a strength and weakness. I just, it's so hard to say, it's so hard to say. It's so hard to say, just, just get them all, just get them all. That's not good advice. Help me, I don't know. <laughs> but I really had fun painting all of these and um, I, hope, I hope it helped a little bit. I'm probably gonna go and compare all the rest of the colors off camera now because I am really interested and there are a lot of colors here that I had discounted and not used before um, that I really liked. So I'm gonna go dive into my box of paints and see what other ones I can find that I haven't used yet. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if there is any of these brands that you've tried that you really, really like, any that you don't really, really like. Um, don't tell me I miss bits of paint on the models. I know, I know that. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the comments and thanks for watching. Bye.